Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. I had few clips randomly taken and a dinner meal with few new recipes. Thought to clip all together and make a vlog. Hence today's video. Hope you will like it. Keep watching. Firstly, sharing when we had our breakfast on a weekend, of course, and eat out. Recently, came to know about this cute cafe named the Express Cafe. As the name says it all, the cafe itself gives that eggy vibe. The interior is yellowish and egg themed one. Their breakfast is mainly based with eggs of course and very scrumptious. We had few of their amazing dishes, the English full Monty, butterfly sandwich, Philly steak sandwich, each one well presented and has unique taste packed with flavors. This is a new dish included recently, it's Buddy Street with pancakes, ash brown, omelette with a creamy sauce. The best what I loved in this group was the sausages mixed with spices and herbs. I had shared a reel on my Instagram, if you're following me there you would already know by now. If you're in Muscat, don't forget to try their varieties. They are located in Al Gubra Street and I shall share their location and other details in the description box. And don't forget to post your feedback on this board. After having a filling breakfast, we had a bit of shopping to be done, so went straight to Lulu. I had recently shared few stories on my Instagram regarding the midnight craziness I get sometimes to be creative. It may be for anything, craft, painting or even cooking. It depends on my mood. I used to do painting on canvas before I started YouTube. I had done few when we were in Riyadh and this new apartment needed some. Honestly speaking, I do paintings with the help of tutorials from YouTube. I watch many in a couple of days and try to recreate one of them. This is one such. I have two dear friends who inspire me or motivate me to hold that paintbrush again. Their paintings and artworks are very beautiful. They are Shehla and Shabiba. I shall share their pages and channels in the description box so that you can check out their artworks. Those who are artists can find a lot of flaws in it. Practice makes a man perfect and I don't practice this every time because it all depends on my mood to paint. It's not something that I love to do most of the time. But when I want to do, I do it at any time of the day. There was another day when our family friend, his name is Ilyas, with respect we call him Ilyaska, came to Muscat for a business purpose all the way from Dubai. It was a weekday and he along with his friend had come all the way from Dubai. They were leaving back on the same night. So we went to meet him at a spot where he asked us to come. It was a beautiful location. They were actually here to look for a yacht. Now only recently I came to know that it's pronounced yacht and not yach. My whole life I have been pronouncing it yach and now have to change to yacht which makes me feel as if I have recently learned how to speak in English. We are at this amazing location where there were so many yachts. They came here to see the yacht and have a test drive so we could also enjoy the drive. And that's how I decided to take this short video so that you too can come along with me. This is my first experience of being in a yacht. Now getting to see in what's actually inside a yacht. There's a bedroom downstairs.
it was evening time view was amazing and too relaxing And there we are back. That was an amazing experience anyway. The last part of this video but not the least. Now what you will see is the dinner preparation done when we invited my husband's cousin and few of his friends to our home. Normally if I want to prepare something new or something that I am preparing for the first time, I will go through lots of similar recipes on Google as well as YouTube. Later try to recreate in my way mixing few ingredients what I feel will taste the best. But this time I had guests coming every week. Then kids online classes, their tuitions, karate classes, my editing, everything kept me really busy that I had less time to try new recipes. So I prepared what I'm familiar with or I know I can't go wrong with. I prepared some custard as per the instructions given behind. This is for the dessert. Kept that aside to let it cool down. The menu for today is chicken chukka. Kerala steamed cake or the puttu with beef curry, chicken sausage noodles. Many of you asked me in my last video, how do I plan for a party menu? I think that comes out of practice or experience. Earlier, I never did any such combinations. I would just prepare what I felt so and it will end up with no combination sometimes. I've even learned from our friends and families who invite us for food and even restaurants with buffet helped a lot. I think the area I still don't make or prepare is the starters. As soon as guests come home, I either serve them welcome drink or a soup and straight away go to the main meal. Most of the dishes I have prepared here are similar or almost same as I prepared in my last video. I normally don't like to prepare my desserts with china grass or gelatin and it's not because of the taste. It's because I need to be very careful of the quantity of ingredients otherwise I won't get it well set. That's the reason why I always prepare cake desserts that are easy to prepare and you need just 2 hours of chilling. Into the custard that has cooled down, I added some condensed milk. Here again, I have used orange cake. Spread some jam onto each slice. I have used mixed berry jam. You may use any of your choice. I didn't have any sugar syrup hence used milk to moist the cake. That's whipping cream mix. This time I made it a bit loose texture and not stiff. Then the rest of the cake slices. Pour the custard mix on top. 
Forgot to add at the bottom layer, that's some tutti frutti for a crunch. You may add mixed nuts too. Pour the rest of the whipping cream, some more of the tutti frutti. Chill for 2 hours at least. Time for marinating chicken for chicken chukka. I had fried some onion that you might have seen some time back. It's for this recipe. Cut chicken in medium size. To that goes crushed ginger, garlic and shallots. Then some curd. Some chopped coriander leaves. Kashmiri red chilli powder. Normal red chilli powder. Turmeric powder. Garam masala powder. That's the fried onion, crushed black pepper, that's kasuri methi or dried fenugreek leaves which gives a good flavor to the dish. Crush it in your palm and add salt. Now squeeze everything really well and let the chicken marinate in this mix for at least 4 hours. It's not always I make noodles for my kids. I make when I'm super busy and it happens on such days. While serving into their bowls, I leave aside some for me and it's just a spoon or two. However healthy diet I follow on, having a taste of this is a must. Next preparing the curry for putta, that's beef curry. You can prepare the same with chicken or mutton. Here I've used a pressure cooker to cook the beef. Using the same oil that's left over after frying onion. Saute sliced onion till they are really soft and slightly golden brown. You need to get onion this way. Now time to add beef pieces. Mix till the color changes. Now it's time to add crushed ginger, garlic and green chilies. Mix well. After a few seconds, add salt and mix. Now cover the cooker, lock the pressure, cook on medium high flame till the first whistle, then reduce the flame to low and cook for 15 minutes. At this point, the whistle may or may not come, doesn't matter. While the beef is getting cooked, parallelly placing a large iron kadai for the chicken chukka. Heat some oil and fry some curry leaves. Add green chilies that are slipped. Mix for a few seconds.
Time for adding the marinated chicken pieces. Make sure you use a large pot so that you can easily mix. Keep covered and cook on low medium flame. Time to turn off the pressure cooker. Give a mix to the chicken after every 3 to 4 minutes. Once all the pressure is released, open the lid. Turn on the flame to medium. Add chopped tomatoes and give a mix. Add chopped coriander leaves and mix. Let the tomatoes go soft. Mixing the chicken in between to see that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Into this goes in garam masala powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder. Give a good mix and let the raw smell leave. This is roasted coconut that I had mentioned in my last video. I had taken this from Kerala. To get the recipe for this, I shall put the link in the description box. Make a ground paste adding some water. Now instead of this, you can use coconut milk which is equally tasty. The beef is cooked completely. Add the ground coconut paste. Some salt if needed. Chicken is done now. Turn off the flame and cover. Add enough water as the curry will be thick. Let it boil for a minute and you can switch off the flame. Now to make the spaghetti. Heat oil in a pot, again a white pot to mix easily. Add some butter for extra taste. On the other side, Place another pot to cook the spaghetti. Into here, fry garlic and spring onion. Once the garlic and spring onion is golden brown, add chicken sausage. If you don't want to use this, you can add fresh chicken pieces. Add chopped green chilies. The spaghetti is cooked right. Drain and keep aside a cup of the water. Chop capsicum and add to the sausage. Mix for a minute. Then add tomato paste. That's red chilli sauce and soy sauce. Give a good mix for 1 minute on medium flame. That's chopped spring onion leaves. This is chicken cubes, again optional ingredient. Some chopped coriander leaves. Add the spaghetti water you had saved or you can just add hot water instead. Finally goes in the cooked spaghetti and toss well. I didn't have a lid, so I had to use a colander to cover it. Wow. 
I have shown many times how to use frozen cooked rice to make the steamed cake or the Kerala puttu. I shall put a link to the video in the description box. time to serve I don't know if you all have the same feelings as of me when I cook so much I end up not eating same happens for me every time but if I have my lady friends invited I will definitely accompany them as of today it was just men I finished off all the cleaning work so that it doesn't pile up for the next day So that's all for today's vlog and I hope you all enjoyed watching it. Do try the recipes and let me know if you liked it. Stay safe everyone. Take care. Bye bye.